All right, welcome back. Uh, we've talked about, or I've shown Falcon before in the past, uh, this GitHub page that I have pulled up, uh, but I want to highlight a couple things, or at least one thing that's different. So in this case, uh, we've got everything um, kind of enclosed here, and we are going to use uh, SRS RAN. Uh, in this case, it's kind of unique. It's actually running on the Valve Steam Deck. I've tested it out. The full Dragonless is sitting on a Valve Steam Deck here and I'll jump over to it and show it running. I actually have tested out a uh, uh, new kernel on it. I was working on sound, but anyways, that's a different story. So base station is going to be ran by SRS RAN and then we will do a scan of the base station. Uh, in, in this case, I wanted to show uh, HackerF and highlight again the LTE cell scanner. I actually have it built into Dragon OS binaries for both the RTL SDR and the HackerF. And you can read about what the cell scanner does too on this GitHub page. So anyways, back to Falcon. All right, first thing, we're going to jump over to the Valve Steam Deck. You can see the resolution's a little bit smaller. Uh, the kernel, like I was saying, you can see parts and components are, are seen and I've uh, at least have audio out the uh, headphone jack so you can see I am actually in fact on the Valve Steam Deck and so let's see so on the Valve Steam Deck we're going to uh, we're going to run the EPC okay and we're going to run the ENB with the Blade RF, uh, in this case the XA9, uh, I specifically specify that uh, dash dash RF device name Blade RF. Otherwise, it'll revert to Soapy. Something it, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, once I jump back over to the laptop, something different I found with uh, Dragon OS Focal X is that there's actually you know Soapy, and then there's UHD Soapy, and and whatever. And I never realized back in the old builds of Dragon OS that I had both. That's what caused uh, people to have to specifically specify the device name when using the uh, Osmo Com, or I'm sorry, Osmo SDR, or GR Osmo SDR thing in GNU Radio. Uh, so, anyways, the, you're fine just specifying the device name Blade RF here, and we will let that start up. Okay, and then we'll jump back over to the laptop. We'll pull open another terminal window. And so we want to do a scan with the HackerF. HackerF info. Make sure you have the 2022 firmware loaded, which I actually provide in the ISO under other firmware drivers. So it's built into the ISO. You can, no excuse, you can, you can flash it. All right, so let's see. So we want to do a cell search. In this case, I know that, uh, oh, and you can see the binary. I've got it called cell search hacker F or cell search RTL SDR. Two different binaries, uh, but they're in there together. You can do dash H for help and get more specific on like gain and things like that. In this case, I've just specified the dash S for the starting frequency. And I know that the EMB, well, if I didn't know, I'd have a wider range. Um, there's some other tools you can use to search for, uh, search the bands. But in this case, I'm just using the frequency 2679 to 2681. You would do this if you needed to search and, and find, you know, what's out there. So let's run the cell search. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, it'll go through. We should find a cell on uh, 2680. All right, so there we go. We see we've detected, I'll hit Control C, we detected a cell at frequency 2680 megahertz. Okay. That's all I pretty much need for right now. I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to um, take a B205 Mini. So now what are we up to? We're, we went from the Hacker F, we got Blader F, we got the B205 Mini. 
the B205 Mini is going to act as a, a, hand, a UE in this case, basically a phone connecting to the Blade RF. I've shown this in the past. UE, I think, yeah, that should be all we need because in this case I'm using the Edis. Don't have to really specify the device name, it should just default to UHD. Uh, yep, okay. Let this load up. And so we see we've got a, a successful attach there. I'm going to open up another window and I'm going to ping the base station at uh, 16.0.1. We'll get some activity going there. Okay. Now, if we look under other, uh, let's see, Falcon. And I've, I've opened this before. If, if you um, didn't have it uh, open already, some of these windows may not be turned on. So I just click them all and hit tile window to lay it out. Uh, let's see. I think I do have it Falcon opening up with a terminal window. So in this case, we'll, we'll just maximize this for right now. Normally, use file source is checked by default, so I would uncheck that. I've put the frequency of 2680 in there, and we are going to use the Lime SDR. And actually, I'll, I'll bring this back down a little bit so we can see what's going on here behind the scenes, which you may want to do for troubleshooting. Now I should point out Falcon GUI, this is just the graphical user interface, but there is other, there's like Falcon Probe, Falcon, Falcon, there's a couple other tools that are command line tools that maybe I'd like to get into them later. Um, the cell ID, PRB, and ports, you may need to change those for this uh, specific example. I'm not going to, shouldn't need to change those. But when you do a cell search or a cell scan, you can find the cell ID and additional information there. So let's hit start. I'll see that, uh, actually, actually, wait a second, wait a second. So I almost forgot. We need to do one additional thing here to make this work. So if we go into the user source, Falcon, you'll see that I've left a dev package here. So this is what I'm talking about. You, I only, I'm only going to use this for this Falcon, and then I'll remove it sudo dpackage dash i uhd I'll install that minimize go back to Falcon that just takes us right there and launches the graphical user interface so now when I hit start we can see back here that it's going to use UHD but then it's going to use SOAPY to open up the line we're looking, we're going to see, okay, it finds the cell ID, which is the cell that we have running. And there we go. We can see we have activity on there from the ping. So if I stop this, we should see that activity start to go down. start pinging again we see we're getting that real-time um, activity that's going on there and what we could do is let's see just to get a jump in activity further activity we could jump back over to the Steam Deck let's just change into user the firmware folder I talked about let's change into hacker F and we'll do uh, we'll do Python 3 and you probably want to do something like iperf uh, for this, but I don't have that installed right now. What am I doing? Uh, HTTP.server. We'll set up a little uh, web server here. And then come back over. And we'll do... come back over here and download that file remember what it was 
is macro F1. And then we should see. So we see our spike in activity there. So we know we're monitoring this in real time. We have the Lime SDR going. We have the Blader F as the base station and the B205 Mini as the uh, phone. And then, of course, we use the Hacker F to find our frequency that we needed. So uh, that's pretty much uh, I wanted to focus on just getting that up and running and showing that difference of installing uh, briefly that uh, one uh, file that enables that soapy portion of UHDs to then use the um, Lime SDR. Now you could pro you could get away with using the Hacker F for this uh, if you're looking at a a cell or something that's 20 megahertz wide or less it, it you know it should work. Uh, but in this case, the Lime SDR does really well. And uh, also, I should point out, Dragon OS Focal X is set up for the Lime Suite, uh, the 2022 version. So this should all work on the Lime Mini V2 once that's, you know, available. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. And uh, yeah, thank you.